This short video gives a brief introduction to the more commonly used blood bottles and blood tests. It's intended to help you understand which bottles are used for which tests so that you can choose the appropriate equipment when you land on the wards. We're trying to give generic information, but don't forget equipment and protocols may vary between different trusts. The purple top bottle is used for haematology tests. The most common of these is the full blood count. This includes haemoglobin, which is an important investigation in numerous scenarios, including blood loss, platelets, which if depleted can result in increased bleeding risk, and white cell count, which is typically increased in infection. The purple bottle is also used for other tests, including HbA1c, which is important in the assessment of diabetic blood sugar control. The gold top bottle is used for a range of biochemistry tests, including urea and electrolytes. This gives values for sodium, potassium, urea and creatinine, used for assessing kidney function and detecting electrolyte derangement, for example hyperkalemia. Other tests include liver function tests, C-reactive protein, bone profile, magnesium, lipids, thyroid function tests and cardiac enzymes. The same bottle is also used for various more specialist endocrinology, oncology, toxicology, virology and immunology tests. The blue bottle is for haematology tests to assess the clotting system. Coagulation screen includes prothrombin time, activated partial thromboplastin time and fibrinogen. INR is important for monitoring warfarin therapy and D-dimers are useful in the diagnosis of deep vein thrombosis and pulmonary emboli. The grey top bottle is used for two specific biochemistry tests. Glucose, which can be a fasting or a random value, and lactate, which can be raised in any condition causing tissue hypoperfusion, for example sepsis or acute ischemia. The pink bottle is used to send a blood sample to the transfusion lab for patients who may require a blood transfusion. Group and save or cross match can be requested. Group and save determines and stores the patient's blood group, so blood can be ordered swiftly if needed. Cross match refers to the process of ordering blood for the patient. Typically, the bottle must be labelled by hand at the patient's bedside after confirming the patient's details but your trust will have specific guidelines which you should adhere to. Blood culture bottles are used to send samples to microbiology for culture, to isolate organisms and enable targeted antimicrobial therapy. Protocol varies between trusts, but you may be required to fill more than one bottle. Some trusts require two samples to test for both aerobic and anaerobic organisms. An aseptic approach is crucial to avoid contamination. All of the tests described so far can be performed on venous blood samples. An arterial blood gas sample is typically taken at the wrist from the radial artery. This test provides values for pH, oxygen content of blood reported as PO2, carbon dioxide content of blood reported as PCO2, bicarbonate and base excess. Arterial blood gases provide important information in acutely unwell patients to allow assessment of illness severity clarify the diagnosis and guide management. This test is collected in specific syringes and must be taken to the lab within about 20 minutes of collection for accurate processing. We hope this video has improved your familiarity with the equipment we have discussed. Hospital labs are always happy to help, so don't be afraid to call them if you need any advice.